Ugh. All right, so I was going to make a video about a point-and-shoot camera. I'm not going to tell you which one yet, but this is what happened instead. One can only hope the power will go out. All right, so as you saw, it started to downpour, which has been a common occurrence here lately in the last couple weeks. Every time I have a day to go out and shoot a video, it pours. So instead, I'm going to be making a video on the importance of printing your work. All right, so as you saw in the beginning of this video, it started with me on my computer, hitting print, it going to my Canon PIXMA little office printer, printing some 4x6s. It's these little Kodak semi-gloss 4x6. You can pick these up at Walmart or Target for around 7 or $8 a pop. You get 200 4x6s in this. Every once in a while at Target, you can get them for buy one, get one free. So I usually try to hold out for then, and then I'll buy like four packs of them. All right, so after I print the 4x6s, I grab one of these. I have a couple of these. Actually, I probably have about six of these right now. They are photo albums. You can get them at Target, and they hold 240 pictures. They're, they're a little on the pricey side. They're $14.99, but yet again, about every two or three months, they will go on sale for buy one, get one free, and I'll pick up two of them. So 15 bucks for two of these. These are really, really, really nice. These are really nice photo albums. And also, they come with these little lined areas. I don't know if you can see that. They come with these little lined areas so you can leave notes on the pictures, which I always find helpful. I have some notes scribbled in some of my other ones. This is a process that I've been doing now for the past, uh, man, six, seven, probably seven to eight months now. So every time I develop film, I scan it in, and then I take those scans and I print four by sixes of them put them in one of these books. Okay, so why do I do this? I do this because it is so nice to not have to turn my computer on every single time I wanna look through some of my photos, or even hop on my iPhone and have to open up my Flickr or my Instagram or even scroll through my photos on my phone. You know, it's just a nice way to quietly grab one of these photo albums or grab all of my photo albums and go out on the porch with a notepad and start putting some pictures together, getting like a dialogue, finding a narrative in the work, or, you know, that's how I did my staycation zine, which is actually going to be coming out probably July. Got pushed back a little bit, just a couple other things got in the way, so that's being pushed back until July, because it usually takes about a month for that to print. But it's just nice. Like this one right here is all the photographs from staycation. And I didn't use all of them, but they're all right here. And if I ever need to go back and look at them, they're still right here in these photo albums. And then the other reason I've been printing out all these photos is for preservation reasons, like preserving, preserving the photographs. And that's one of the main reasons I started shooting film in the first place was the fact that Shooting digitally, I had, as I'm sure many of you had, hard drives crash and you lose everything. I had a computer crash, and this is before I started backing everything up on hard drives. I had my computer crash and I lost everything. I mean, I lost clients' jobs and all kinds of personal work and it is absolutely devastating. So I learned my lesson and you know now I do the backups of the backups, but I also shoot on film. So not only do I have books of negatives? I have books of prints. And these books of prints are, you know, they're not the best quality. It's not, I, I'm not doing it to make the best photograph print ever. I do have paper and I do have a very nice printer back here that does, you know, professional quality prints. This is my hard drive. And I have this to go back and, and find that photograph and I know which roll this is because I have these lines and I actually haven't gone through and labeled this yet. I just put these in here for this video. So I haven't gone through and made my notes yet. But I'm going to go through and, you know, I'm going to put which roll it is. Basically transfer the information from this notebook to this notebook. That's a little step I added just recently, probably in the last month or so. I realized I should probably catalog everything because I'm really bad at backing everything up. All right, guys, you're gonna have to bear with me. My DSLR battery had died and my two backup batteries are completely drained as well. So I'm gonna have to do a voiceover.
So just think about it guys. The print used to be the second half of the photographic process. Now it was an art in itself. We would have never known about the great master photographers back in the day if they didn't print their work. You know, we have Instagram, we have Flickr, we have YouTube, we have all that stuff. And you know, that was their photo books, magazines, and newspapers. So think about it. How do you think they got published? It was by making prints and being seen. I guess it's just something we don't really think about anymore with, you know, how fast the digital age is. We shoot a picture, we post a picture, it's dead. And I don't, I don't really care for that. I, I kind of want my stuff to live on, at least in my life, you know. So I, I love making prints of my work and giving them away or selling them or having something tangible to hold, to look at, to study, you know. It, it definitely helps me improve my work and, you know, just appreciate it a whole lot more. Having something to hold and to pass down generations and all that, all that stuff. I mean, speaking from personal experience, there, there really is nothing better than having someone hang your work in their home or, or business. I have a couple photographs downtown hanging. You know, there's a, jewel, a jewelry store downtown that has a portrait of the owner that I took just randomly on the street. They, they found me through Instagram and asked if they could purchase a print. I made them a print and it, it's hanging right in the front window. I am so proud every time I walk past that print. Also with prints, you get to see things you wouldn't get to see on your 13 inch computer screen or your, you know, five, six, seven inch phone screen. There's just something about holding a 13 by 19 print in your hand and you get to see, I mean, the imperfections or the perfections, like things you dislike, things you love. I guess really what I'm trying to say is that this all goes along with telling your story. You know, printing photographs, making photo books, making zines, you know, it's all just about the process of photography and, you know, showing and telling your side of the story. Now, I think I've done enough talking in this episode. You know, I really kind of enjoy doing this voiceover. I might try to do this a little more, a little inspiration from Mr. Eric Wallstrom. He does a lot of these little talky talks. But until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me some comments, guys. I miss you. Tell me about your your prints. You know, tell me about your books. Tell me about everything, man. Maybe we can get a little uh, print trade or print swap going on. I would love to, you know, send some of my prints out for some of yours. That would be awesome. And before I forget, if you go on Podbean or iTunes, you can listen to the first episode of The Analog Talk. Now that is a podcast that I'm a part of with two other people. I will leave links to their channels down below and a link to the podcast. So by the time you're seeing this, you'll be able to listen to the first episode. It's about, uh, you know, where film's standing in, in, today's, in today's time. Basically the resurgence of film. But again, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Later.